200 pound fruitcakes, 20 carat sparklers, and true love add Betty Ford? The heart wants what the heart wants. And for their big day, these filthy rich stars wanted it all. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Prince Charles and Princess Diana were married in one of the most lavish wedding celebrations in history. According to the Smithsonian, most of their budget went towards security for the event, which is said to have cost the equivalent of $1.7 million today. Diana's silk gown was custom designed by David and Elizabeth Emanuel and covered in 10,000 pearls with a 25-foot train. Unbeknownst to Diana, the designers also sewed in a golden horseshoe trinket that was studded with diamonds for luck. In today's market, Harper's Bazaar pegs the dress to be worth around $449,000. As designer Liz Emanuel described the concept, Larger than life, everybody's vision of what a fairy tale princess would wear. Nearly 3,500 guests were in attendance, including then First Lady Nancy Reagan, Princess Grace Kelly of Monaco, and then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. And reportedly only 120 of the bunch were invited to the dinner reception. The couple's traditional wedding fruit cake weighed 225 pounds and stood 5 feet tall, along with 27 additional cakes for VIP guests. All in all, Charles and Diana's wedding cost the crown $48 million. Next in line to the throne, Prince William and Kate Middleton exchanged vows in April 2011 at Westminster Abbey in London after a five-month engagement, and they reportedly dished out roughly $34 million for their luxurious wedding. By far the most substantial expense was the cost of security. Marie Claire reported that the droves of royal guards required for the event cost the happy couple roughly $31 million. I am beside myself. This is such a fashion moment, I can't tell you. Middleton's dress was another big ticket item. The $350,000 lace and ivory gown, designed by Sarah Burton from Alexander McQueen, was accented by a bouquet of Myrtle, Lily of the Valley, Sweet William, and Hyacinth. A secret blue ribbon that was sewn into it as Middleton's Something Blue was a nod to Princess Diana, who had the same accent sewn into her wedding dress. Guests included foreign royals, Commonwealth officials, and celebrities like David Beckham and Sir Elton John. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding was an absolute spectacle for fans of the royal family. The pair spent an exorbitant amount of money to execute their perfect day, with the celebrations racking up a $43 million bill, and $40 million of that went towards security, according to the Daily Mail. The royals tied the knot at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in May of 2018. The budget also covered 20 silver-plated trumpets that were secured for $125,000, and a $70,000 cake from Violet Bakery in East London. The couple reportedly also spent upwards of $150,000 on flowers. We cut cake with a sword. <laughs> British outlet Bridebook estimated that the other big ticket items included the cost of Markle's Claire White Keller wedding gown, which has been pegged at around $286,000. Somewhere in here, there's a piece of, did you see it, the piece of blue fabric that's stitched inside? The couple reportedly also spent a small fortune installing a PA system and flags and banners to include the fans who lined the streets in the celebrations. Roughly 2,640 people were invited to the grounds of Windsor Castle, while 600 of the couple's closest friends stayed to enjoy the main reception. 200 additional guests were then invited to the after party, and the couple appears to be living happily ever after these days in Montecito, California. Kim Kardashian and NBA star Chris Humphrey's wedding cost $10 million, and in true reality TV fashion, the cameras were rolling as the happy couple planned every single detail. The only cameras allowed to capture their vows were, of course, those from E! Entertainment. And as fans know, the couple only dated for six months before their wedding, which was later aired as a two-part special on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. We don't do anything for ratings. The over-the-top Montecito wedding was attended by some big names in Hollywood, including Lindsay Lohan, Eva Longoria, George Lopez, Kathy Lee Gifford, Ryan Seacrest, Mel B, and Serena Williams. And then Robin Thicke, Stevie Wonder, and Earth, Wind & Fire were on hand to perform live. Kardashian's wedding band was a 20.5-carat stunner worth $2 million. 
The reality star also spent $150,000 on her ceremony hairdo, as well as sending out $10,000 lair and black crystal embellished invitations. Her dress was designed by Vera Wang, with accents by Nicole Ritchie. Kardashian wore two additional Vera Wang dresses throughout the night as well. As many suspected, Kardashian profited from the event and didn't have to pay out of pocket. Discounts and freebies were offered to the high-profile couple, and People magazine paid upwards of $1.5 million for exclusive photos of the big day. We hate each other. <laughs> Is that normal? Fine. But despite the abundance of riches, the couple famously broke up after just 72 days of wedded bliss. Kardashian wasn't gonna let a pesky, high-profile divorce keep her from going all out for her third wedding. In 2014, she married rapper and fashion designer Kanye West. And fans knew it was gonna be one to remember. Their event began against the backdrop of the Palace of Versailles, where guests were treated to fine cuisine before they were whisked away in private jets to Florence, Italy for a lavish ceremony and reception. I'm very happy. I feel like the energy is gonna be really balanced out. All eyes were on Kardashian and her stunning Vera Wang gown as she walked down the aisle serenaded by Andrea Bocelli. Their vows were then exchanged in front of a flower wall that cost $100,000. And according to estimates by E! News, the cost of just the Lux ceremony hit at roughly $2.8 million. There was the $400,000 rental fee for the historic Fort de Belvedere, and the $110,000 to cater dinner for their 200 guests. And then the chartered flights back and forth from Paris to Florence likely set the couple back about $74,000 per jet. Guests also enjoyed high-end accommodations at the Westin Excelsior, where 100 rooms for one night could easily top $68,000. Maybe you can't put a price on love, but according to the Daily Mail, these two went for it at $12 million all in. All grown up since she first graced the public eye, former first daughter Chelsea Clinton married her longtime boyfriend, investment banker Mark Mavinsky, in a stunning $3 million wedding. The event took place at the Astor Court's estate in New York, and the hefty price tag for the celebration was thanks to some extreme security measures. The BBC reported there was a temporary no-fly zone above the Hudson Valley, and guests arrived in shuttle buses and limos via roads that were closed to the public. The circus has truly come to town. Despite the precautions, the 2010 event was a fairly low-key gathering of the pair's closest friends and family members, instead of a who's who in the world of celebrities. Still, notable attendees included Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen, civil rights attorney Vernon Jordan, and former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. The 400 guests enjoyed a harpist, stunning visual decor, a gift bag featuring wine from the local Clinton Vineyard, as well as farm-picked peaches and a personal note from the bride and groom. Clinton wore a strapless silk gown by Vera Wang, one of two she donned for the celebration. And as the story goes, the party was rockin' till 3 a.m. Michael Jordan proposed to his second wife, Yvette Prieto, with a jaw-dropping $1 million ring. And their wedding did not disappoint. The couple tapped event planner to the star Sharon Sachs, shelling out $10 million for a night to remember. The couple exchanged vows at the Episcopal Church of Bethesda by the Sea, surrounded by fresh florals. Guests joined them at the Bears Club in Jupiter, Florida, where they partied the night away in style. Prieta went all out with a stunning Jeton Couture wedding gown, which featured front silk and Swarovski crystals. Celebrity guests included Tiger Woods, Spike Lee, and Patrick Ewing, along with special performances by Robin Thicke, Kejan, and Usher. And of course, you can only wrap up a celebration like that with fireworks. Along with the over-the-top festivities, Jordan reportedly stayed true to his charitable roots and asked guests to skip the gifts, and instead donate to the James R. Jordan Foundation, named in memory of Michael's late father. We might be married, but we have to keep dating. Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel made it rain a cool $6.5 million for their wedding. And reportedly, they did things a little differently than the typical Tinseltown set. Instead of a huge spectacle, the pair tied the knot in an intimate celebration in southern Italy with their loved ones. But of course, the celebration was not without its A-listers. Guests, including Jimmy Fallon, Timbaland, and Questlove, 
enjoyed fireworks, bike rides, and a number of parties that spanned several days. Attendees also dined on Italian cuisine featuring lobster, steak, sea bass, and affogato. Beale stunned in a $100,000 custom pink Jean-Baptiste Vali haute couture gown and veil, and Timberlake looked dapper in a Tom Ford tux. As Beale recalled to People, I had a little bit of butterflies. I was about to stand up in front of my friends and family and bear my soul for the person I love. It was terribly emotional. George Clooney married Amal Alamuddin in a fabulous celebration in Venice, Italy, spending nearly $3 million just on accommodations for their star-studded guest list. The couple reserved an estimated 95 rooms at Hotel Cipriani, including luxury suites that cost upwards of $8,000 and $9,000 a night. The couple rented the Amman for their reception, which is believed to start at $250,000. A custom five-course dinner then cost $300 per person, and a source close to the couple revealed their pricey floral design, telling E! News, "...it depends on the final project. However, Munaretto is quite expensive, and for an excellent arrangement, they will not take less than 200,000 euros or $250,000." Guests included Cindy Crawford, Bono, Matt Damon, and Anna Winter. And what about those boats used to shuttle guests around town? According to one event planner, the couple spent a minimum of $36,500 for on-demand rides. All in all, this A-list duo dished out around $4.6 million on their special day. You know, I have to just kind of look at it as if I'm the luckiest human being on Earth and then just appreciate that. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner spent $1 million throwing their 2009 wedding celebration for their 500 guests. Marie Claire reported that the whole thing was pulled together in just three months, culminating in a lavish event at Trump National Golf Club in New Jersey. Notable guests included Rudy Giuliani, Andrew Cuomo, Anna Winter, Barbara Walters, Russell Crowe, and Natalie Portman. Regis Philbin also attended the elegant affair and even sang at the reception. Celebrity event planner Preston Bailey coordinated the day, and guests feasted on a jaw-dropping 13-layer cake that cost an estimated $70,000 alone. Of course, Ivanka's dress was a showstopper. Designed by Vera Wang, the look was inspired by Grace Kelly. Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt celebrated their nuptials in front of a high-caliber guest list that included some familiar friends — Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Matthew Perry, and Lisa Kudrow. Other A-listers were Ed Norton, Salma Hayek, Cameron Diaz, and David Spade. A massive team decked out a five-acre Malibu rental property, with elegant florals from LA premiere of Beverly Hills and brown sugar candles imported from Thailand. Guests were treated to a performance by Melissa Etheridge, who sang an acoustic version of Led Zeppelin's Whole Lotta Love. Other music for the evening featured a traditional Greek bazooki band. As expected, airspace above the property was restricted, and tents were constructed for privacy from paparazzi. Guests were also asked to sign confidentiality agreements in order to attend. Aniston wore a floor-length silk and satin gown by Lawrence Steele, and ivory suede Manolo Blahnik heels. The event also featured a gospel choir and a six-tier cake, all of which cost the couple a cool $1 million. Elizabeth Taylor and construction worker Larry Fortensky met at the Betty Ford Clinic in 1988. As Fortensky once recalled to People, Elizabeth was in there for pills, I was in there for beer. Of course, she was very pretty, and I wasn't too bad looking in those days either. We had an instant physical attraction. We give each other great support in our sobriety." According to the Washington Post, the $1.5 million wedding kicked off on October 6, 1991 at Michael Jackson's Neverland Valley Ranch. The pair exchanged vows accompanied by a white grand piano and four violinists, and Taylor wore a gown designed by the iconic Valentino, who also dressed her for the event. The couple sold the exclusive rights to their wedding photos for $1 million, ultimately using the money to launch the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation that same year. Fortensky would be Taylor's eighth and last husband. The two were together for five years before divorcing in 1996. 